Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're watching Oxmaker and we're playing some Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. All right. I'm playing, um, been playing a bit of Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm quite enjoying it and I'm going to try and make a video. Don't know if it's going to go any good, but we'll see what happens. Um, with Microsoft Flight Simulator, I'm also using a um, an add-on that you can get called On Air Airline Manager. Um, this is On Air Air Airline Manager. It lets you do jobs. So in this, you can rent airplanes. Um, so I currently have this one here, which is at this airport, and we want to. I'm going to want to fly this one. Um, and I have some jobs at this airport. So this one here is already loaded up on my plane and that's got to go to YKMP, which is a Kempsey. And then I have another job here to YARM. So this is the job we're going to, we're going to be flying from where we are, which is I, Y, I, V, L. And we're going to be flying into YARM. So the first thing you've got to do is load up your plane here. Um, you can see down the bottom here that I have 601 nautical miles worth of fuel, um, plenty of weight on my plane, and the it's only 46 nautical miles over to um, the Armadale Airport there. So in this on-air simulator, we click fly now, and what it does is it simulates loading up the planes. Um, in the background so it's going to load the luggage load the fuel if you had any passengers and stuff and here you go YARM let it know the airport it gives you an alternate it does everything you're supposed to do and while that's loading up we can come in here and we can say we're at um, YIVL in Burrell Airport where you want to start on the ramp we have to select the same plane. Um, so I had a Baron B58. So we select the select plane, we select the airport and YARM, we're going into Armadale. Um, it's pretty much all there is to it. And then you can do something like this and add another like to add another point so we'll line ourselves up for that runway but as far as my flight scene is concerned it's already there now so back over here in on air you can see passengers are okay cargo is good and the fuel's loaded so we can go go fly and tracking essentially I have both programs now loaded Okay, I'm just going to click ready to fly my sim, which will put me into my plane. Uh, temporarily turn off my head tracking. So now we're loaded up at the correct place in the sim. In on air, we slip start tracking. And then on the sim, you'll get a little pop up saying that it started tracking you. Okay, we didn't get that, it just in on air, it's just saying here that it's tracking us and how long we've been going for, fuel on board and everything. All right, so what we need to do now is get this plane going. Um, I'm definitely not a pilot, so I will probably mess up the... Startup procedures here somewhere. Mixer are on. Your flight will be monitored until you land and shut down the engines. There we go. That's what I was looking for before. It's letting us know that on air is now monitoring us. DPS is all set up here, let's just, um, oh, if you are, if you have the version of Microsoft Flight Sim with the Baron, you may notice that the altitude 
on your um, autopilot's missing, you can use control and page up to adjust your altitude here so you can actually set that. Um, I'm in a mountainy place, so not flying very far, but let's go up to about 6,000 feet anyway. And we want fly over at uh, nav mode. Vertical speed mode, we'll put that up to something like that. Should be good. Taxi lights. We'll put on our nav lights. It's whinging about low volts, so we haven't turned on our alternators. And it wants pedo heat, even though we shouldn't have icing problems. I don't know if we can just get rid of the warning. Okay. Departing to the south. Fabulous. Yankee India Victor Lima Traffic Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra taking off runway 16 departure to the south. Okay, then we're going to taxi out. This sim does look very nice. Check that we're all clear. We're just going to roll down to the end of the runway here. Probably didn't have to do that. Um, reality is, this aircraft would have had enough um, power to get us off the ground anyway. Now, there's some things I need to do for on air. It's actually monitoring my flaps and everything. And if I don't put my flaps down at takeoff, you get a penalty inside this, the kind of um, little sim world it's running. Okay. We're up a little bit. Oops, Max. Alright, let's do this. Airborne time log. Bring the gears up. And we don't need those flaps anymore. As far as taking off, that's all we really need to do. Got us pretty close to this line here, so I'm just going to enable the autopilot. Be able to then let go of the stick. Okay. 
we bring the this back. Prop sink. You can see it's going to take about 16 minutes in the sim here to fly this. Overing on air. Um, you got some cool things you can do while you're flying in this. You can see, let me stop. You can see that you've got the airport data here, and you can toggle that on and off. Um, so you can know what heading, you know, runway 27 is at 265. So you can work out pretty much where you're going to be coming in, what what sort of a track you're going to be following at landing time. Um, keep an eye on your flight zoom out and say you know we've only got this far to go switch over to your alternate airport if you want it's all nice information you can use um, obviously I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long so what I'm going to do is just try accelerating in the sim so you can use this time acceleration um, sometimes the sim goes a bit funny with it though just hit R once and then you can use control plus and minus on your um, number pad to increase the speed and decrease it So what I do is I slow this in down, you can see it's running super slow now. If you slow it all the way and then come up two places, that's actual normal speed. There's unfortunately no indicator here that shows you what you're running at. Anyway, what I needed to stop that for is I need to change my altitude. Um, let's just bring it down to 5,000 feet. also have to kill off some speed in this minute. Bit of wind, let's see if we can tune into these guys. Nearest airport. This is the one we're after. Automated weather. Six nine at four knots, visibility three, few clouds. Not seeing the clouds anyway. Okay, so we're going to be coming in to Armadale here. coming in this way so I think that's runway 5 let's just say that we're going to be full stop and we'll just let them know our position Yankee Alpha Romeo Mike traffic the Beechcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 1 tree miles north 5,500 feet inbound to land runway 5 no tower, so I don't really care if I get that wrong. I'm pretty sure the runway is just the other side of this hill.
Okay, we better be ready to turn off the autopilot and slow us down a bit. That'll prop up. Oops, we left the landing lights on, but that doesn't matter. We're going to be coming into the land. Let everyone know that we're on final. Yankee Alpha Romeo Mike Traffic Beachcraft Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra is on final runway 5 to land. Turn off the autopilot. It's done its job and got us here. My head tracking is on. So we should be able to see the wrong way out here somewhere. There it is. I thought that was it. Probably got my flaps down a bit early for this. Should still be about a thousand feet above ground level. Okay, let's get under 100 knots before we... Put our gears down. Three green lights. Wean 220 at 2 knots.
Okay, we're just bringing it in here. Landing time log. Landed at Yankee Alfa Romeo Mike, Armydale. Alright, slide right down. Wait a taxi off up here. Yeah, flaps back up, we'll put our taxi light on. area right here. This looks good. Okay, so to finish this flight in on air, or I can finish in on air, actually. Turn that on. We have to turn off all our lights except for beacon. Have to turn off the pedo heat. That and then we should be able to kill the engine. Engine off time logged. End of flight. Registered in on air company. So over an on air company, flicks over, gives you reputations, bonuses. We also get extra bonuses for doing correct things, making a comfortable flight. And then your plane is, you can see here, um, it'll be unloaded and getting ready for the next flight. So, I um, actually have some pending jobs. Actually, I favorited one. I've got this job here in Armadale, which has to go to Kempsey, and I've already got one on board for Kempsey. So, I can take that job. I get an extra $15,000 pay when I do this flight over here. So, that's what I like about on air, and I find it really adds to um, the experience I'm able to get out of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyway. That's the video for today. Hope you guys like it and um, I'll catch you guys next time.